In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the smoother reverse effect. Okay, to get started, I just added this clip to my timeline that I'd like to add my reverse effect to. Now to begin, drag your video track up so that it's large enough to see the clip's preview image. Then in the clip's top left corner, right-click the little FS square, go to Timer Mapping, and select. Okay, now you should see this line going through the middle of your clip. So while holding down the control key on your keyboard, click roughly in the middle of that line. Doing that will create this dash line divider. Drag the line on the right side of that dash divider down to 1%. You might have noticed this little gray marker at the top of the dash line. You'll need to drag its first half to the start of your clip to begin creating them. And then drag the second half up to where you want to start reversing your video. I'll put mine right after we go in here in my video. Okay. We don't need any of this footage after the second half of our marker. So make a cut at its position and delete the clip after. All right. Now when I play this back, my speed ramps down, but it's not very smooth. So to fix this, let's right click our clip and go to speed slash duration in here. All we're gonna do is change the time interpolation to optical flow. Now we have this red bar over our video indicating that it's not going to play back smoothly. So you'll have to make sure your clip is selected and press the enter key on your keyboard to render the clip. Okay, this time when I play it back, the speed ramps down much more smoothly. Next, we just need to reverse the clip. So while holding down the Alt key under your keyboard, drag your clip to the side to make a copy and make sure you place your clip right next to the first. To reverse our second clip, right, click it and go to speed slash duration in here. Simply check reverse speed and hit OK. Finally, we'll need to render the second clip out too, so make sure it's selected and press Enter. Now when we play this back, we have a really nice looking reverse effect. This is definitely one of my favorite effects. That's it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next.